Hammond, have you got a puncture? Because I think you have. No way. I think you have as well. Right front. Hammond. No way. As a world's top motoring journalist, have you not detected that your steering's gone a bit oboe-ish? Do you know what? I think that is. I've never seen one of these work. Yes, they always work. I don't think they do. I've yeah. used one. It worked a bit. How does that go in? Is that pressurised in there? I think it's pressurised so in here. We don't pressurise it with that. But we could always consult the handbook. Don't what? do that. What we do is... I'm worried about you for a long time, James. The good thing is we're not on a busy road. Oh, it is. I reckon in less than two days that will be ready to roll. Then I discovered that I also had a puncture. Why didn't you swerve round it? What? Why didn't you swerve round it? How have you done that? Well, I think I can only think it's one of those sudden, sharp potholes that you get in the middle of the road. That's quite bad. Right now, the only car that's working is the Bentley. It's not working well, but it is working. <laughs> Got to go to a tyre depot to change his tyre. No, the Bentley's broken. I'm sorry to bother you in Albania, but could I have a push? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Albania. Luckily, I didn't have to go too far to get the Rolls's bulging tire fixed. It's Rolls Royce approved. So they sell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Service, main service dealer. Yeah. What are you doing now? Finding the tire pressures. Can I just read you the Rolls-Royce instruction book, as it should be written? Wheels and tyres, call a man. Replacement of wheels and tyres, call a man. Safety switch, call a man. Switching on and off, call a man. Safe seater position, call a man. All three cars are now working well. 